Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Well, we can always edit this stuff, too. So. Uh, you're up, John. All right. So my name is Mr. John. I'm with the Kauai Chobi Animal Preserve, and we're uh, getting ready to put a lot of content on our um, YouTube page, which has kind of been growing on its own organically without out much uh, thought. Um, but the most attention that's been coming to our page has been in reference to the lion and the tiger that we have in many of our videos. Which also, there seems to be this huge debate online on uh, YouTube about which one is the real king. In fact, uh, we're calling each other fanboys. You know, we've got tiger boys and lion boys and everybody says debating who's the bigger, badder cat and uh, there's a lot of name calling and other things. So here's my input on who the king of the jungle really is. <laughs> My input is, does it matter? <laughs> because most of the time, these cats wouldn't even see each other. Um, most of the lions are uh, solely in Africa. There's very few in Asia at this point. Uh, the only place that they're found in the same area is in parts of India at this point. Um, they come from different, er uh, um, different habitats as well. However, as you can see, these two are together, and that's where our debate is, because a lot of you have seen how these animals react with new toys and things in their enclosure, uh, and been pointing out the dominant features, okay? So when it comes to these two, there's two different behaviors. You have obsessive-compulsive with the tiger, and you have passive-aggressive with the lion, meaning that um, the tiger is all about... Um, the tiger's all about asserting himself all the time, where the lion, he only feels like he has to assert himself if he has to, okay? So, where the tiger does whatever he wants all day long and the lion just puts up with it, I guarantee you at dinner time, that lion will put that tiger in its place. So, and he'll run um, when he does. Um, so, a lot of it is uh, different behaviors and for what reason those behaviors are. Now, a lot of people do know enough about the big cats to know that there is a size difference with the lion and the tiger. These two are generally about the same size, but when it comes to size, if you want to define the king by the size, the actual king is the male Siberian. The largest Siberian on record in captivity was over a thousand pounds, okay? Uh, the largest one ever caught in, uh, in the wild was over 800 pounds, okay? The largest lion ever recorded in the wild was a little over 600 pounds, and it was only one species of lion that doesn't exist in the wild anymore, which is the Atlas lion, or uh, more commonly known as the Barbary lion, which were found in the Atlas Mountains in northern Africa. Okay, Now, if you want to include extinct species, there were lions, the cave lion in the Americas uh, that are extinct now, um, would have been well over anywhere from 650 to possibly a thousand pounds. We don't know because we didn't ever actually see any live ones. However, that still fails in comparison with the, the Siberian male. Now I specify five, uh, Siberian male because out of the nine types of tigers, they, go, they range in size from the thousand pound Siberian all the way down to the mere 340 pound South Chinese tiger. And that's the male Chinese tiger is 350 pounds, which is actually smaller than the largest jaguar, which is about 350 pounds. Okay, so they overlap a little bit. So obviously, the South China tiger at 340 pounds is no match for a 550-pound lion, no matter where he's from. Um, so uh, just like with boxing, you're going to have weight classes. A 500-pound tiger is going to whip up on any kind of 450-pound um, tiger. So we... Um, so you have to take a lot of ty types of things in, in uh, consideration. The behavior traits of an animal, what they will fight for, and, um, and uh, basically the, the weight size of those particular types of animals. Um, so the king, the king is only relevant to the actual tiger that you're talking about and the actual lion that you're talking about and the matchup that you have at the time. When it comes to these two, they're just brothers. <laughs> They're not going to fight over anything. They're going to have their little spats, and uh, one will dominate one during the day, but when it comes to dinner time, the other one's going to kick his butt. So um, I hope uh, that helps in some of the um, debate, or maybe it'll just make the debate continue on. Um, we don't like to think of our animals fighting to begin with, but realistically, 
Um, you can fight a lion and a tiger ten different times and have ten different outcomes. So it'll debate, be a debate that goes on to the end of time. But this is just from our perspective. Um, and as you can see, you're not getting any wild behavior here. <laughs> so um, this is going to be a different circumstance. Uh, again, in the wild, these animals don't meet. And if they did, they would avoid each other. Because that's one thing I do know about predators is predators don't hunt predators. They hunt prey. So if a lion meets a tiger, they're going to avoid each other. And the only way they're going to fight is if they can't avoid it. Um, so there really isn't a whole lot to debate about. Right, Sean Bay? Just a big teddy bear. <laughs>